Hello, everybody. Welcome to another fantasy football tournament series, number 38. This is the West Asian Cup. You see a lot of the similar teams that you saw in previous fantasy football tournaments, but this is a tournament that is exclusive to the West Asian region. Here, I've gone with a different style of format. I've gone with a smaller 12-team tournament, three groups of three, where the top two teams advance from each group. And the two best third-placed teams advance as well. Um, so it's kind of like the CONCACAF Gold Cup style format. I wanted to switch things around a bit. Um, this is going to be the last tournament that features uh, several of the same teams you see here in other tournaments, like the Arab Nations Cup, the the, the Middle Eastern Cup, you know. Um Maybe you'll see one or two of these teams in later tournaments, but for the most part, I'm pretty much done with uh, this region. But this is West Asia, and these are my 12 teams. And the host that I've chosen for this tournament are Jordan. Try to pick a different host nation each time. So let's go through the groups. Group A is Jordan, Saudi Arabia. Iraq, and Israel. Group B is Turkey, Oman, Qatar, and Palestine. And Group C is Iran, Syria, United Arab Emirates, and Lebanon. So let's jump right in. Group A, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Israel. The two best teams in this group are Saudi Arabia and Iraq. Israel have sort of been on the decline the last few years. A decade ago, they were, uh, you know, one of the best teams of this region, maybe the best team. But for some reason, you know, they haven't been doing very well uh, as of late. And I do think they're the least, I do think they're the worst team in this group. But just maybe like 2006, 2007, I, I'd say they, pro they, they stand a decent chance of winning this group. Um, they were a decent side. They play in UEFA, but geographically speaking, they are in West Asia. Same with Turkey, as you see at the top of Group B. Um, in this tournament, I know this would involve a lot of politics and would be controversial, but this is just my own fantasy, so I put that aside. This is how I think it would it would it would go down if um if the groups were like this. So I think Iraq. Iraq has advanced in every tournament that I've included them in. That trend is going to continue here. Iraq is very much a tournament team. They don't do so well in World Cup qualifying for some reason, but when once a tournament rolls around, they're always in the fold. Um, so I have them battling Saudi Arabia for first place. And then between second and third should be, uh, well... I think Jordan will just about get through. They're also not doing very well themselves lately, but because they're the host nation in this scenario, I think they'll take one of the third, the best third place spots and, and advance. The winner of this group, I'm going to go with Saudi Arabia, and then I'm going to go with Iraq in second, with Jordan in third. So... Like this. Uh, Israel would be eliminated. On group B, Turkey, Oman, Qatar, and Palestine. Unlike their neighbors, Palestine have been improving in, in recent years. They qualified for the most recent Asian Cup. Uh, they've also qualified for the 2019 Asian Cup take, taking place next year. Um... Who would have thought that now there, the soccer team is a little bit better than uh, their neighbors Israel are? And here, <clears throat> I'm tempted to go with a little bit of a surprise. I don't want to pick the, the same teams in every tournament to go through. Like I want to switch it up a little bit. I think Palestine is good enough to upset one of Qatar or Oman. And uh, Turkey is just, you know... They should obviously go through this group. They're just too good. Um, and even though I picked Oman to advance in every tournament I included them in, 
They're the current Gulf Nations Cup champions. I'm going to throw a curveball here. And I'm going to go with Turkey to, to win the group and Palestine to come in second. And I think Oman and Qatar will cancel each other out. And I think they'll both be eliminated. So I think Group B is going to be the group that only sends two teams to the knockout rounds. Turkey and Palestine. Uh, in Group C, Iran, Syria, UAE, Lebanon. It's a tough group. Um, Lebanon qualified for the 2019 World Cup. Congratulations to them. Shout out to Kura TV and his team. Um, but I think this is a really tough group, to be honest, for Lebanon. They could do something. I mean, I, I picked them as a host nation uh, in a previous video, and they got to the quarterfinals. Um, but here, Iran, very much the best team possibly in this tournament. Um, maybe a little bit behind Turkey, but and then second, I think it should be Syria. I think based on current form, they almost qualified to the World Cup. I think they would have if they played Honduras instead of Australia. Um, and then United Arab Emirates. I think the, those are the three best teams in this group. So I do think Lebanon would struggle, but I could see Lebanon making a strong case for second. It's just... I haven't seen Lebanon play yet. I'm looking forward to seeing them in the 2019 Asian Cup. But just based, like, for now, just for now, I'm going to have to go with Iran. I'm going to have to go with the group to finish in the exact order that you see it in right now. Iran, Syria, UAE, Lebanon, and I think the first three teams will advance Lebanon out. So these are the teams that will advance to the quarterfinals. Let's jump right into the quarterfinals. So in the quarterfinals, we have Saudi Arabia versus Palestine, Turkey versus Syria, Iraq versus the UAE, and Iran versus host nation Jordan. The first quarterfinal, I mean, this is the end of the road for Palestine. Maybe they could do something here, but I just think Saudi Arabia <coughs> is just far too uh, man per man. They're just better. Though I do think Palestine will make it harder than it should be. Um, uh, but I think the Saudis would go through to the semifinals. But great job to Palestine for getting this far. This is a tough match between Turkey and Syria. I think Turkey would go through. But Syria is going to make them fight for it. Neck and neck. They're going to make them fight for it. But Turkey will... will prevail. Iraq versus UAE. This is a toss-up. I could see it going either way, uh, to be quite honest. Um, Iraq, uh, UAE defeated Iraq in, uh, in the Asian Cup for third place in 2015. Then I think Iraq beat them later on, got a little bit of revenge. So this is sort of becoming a little bit of a rivalry between these two teams. UAE kind of disappointed in the Gulf Nations Cup. They only scored one goal en route to the final, and they lost on penalties to Oman. Uh, and Iraq is very much a tournament side, like I said. I think I give the edge to Iraq here. I think Iraq goes through. Iran versus Jordan. Yeah, it's the host nation. They'll put up a spirited uh, effort. Their 2014 team might have gotten through Iran, but uh, this side now, they did, they did not even reach the final round of Asian qualifying, the final 12 teams there, which really tells you the state of Jordanian football at the moment. So Iran would go through. Move on to the semifinals. Saudi Arabia versus Turkey, and Iraq versus Iran. Huh. I am going to go with Turkey. I think, you know, they just have, they're just better. I mean, they, they benefit from playing in Europe. They were in a really, really tough European qualifying group for the World Cup. Uh, they put on a decent performance at Euro 2016, almost advanced as one of the best third-placed teams. I do think Turkey is better than Saudi Arabia. 
Um, I don't think it's that obvious, but I think that they're they're better. Um, so I think Turkey would go through to the final. The Iraq versus Iran Derby. Wow. This would be really interesting. They played, as some of you know, to the most exciting game in the 2015 Asian Cup quarterfinal, which ended in a 3-3 scoreline and Iraq advancing on penalties. Here, though, I think Iran would get one over on their neighbors. I would go with, a, with another high-scoring affair, 2-2, two to two, and Iran winning on penalties this time. So the match for third place would be Saudi Arabia versus Iraq. They met each other in the group phase. I think this would go the full distance as well. There's a little bit of history between these two teams. 2007 Asian Cup finalists where Iraq won on that occasion. Here I'm going with another draw and it's going to a penalties, but this time, well, Hmm, that's hard to say. I think uh, Iraq have some really good young players, guys. Some of whom have gotten deals in the MLS and elsewhere in some of the in the lower leagues in Europe. But Saudi Arabia qualified for the World Cup. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to Saudi Arabia here. I think they'll manage to nick it like 1-0. So I'm going to go with Iraq to finish fourth. Saudi Arabia to finish third. Which brings us to our final. And look at this. Look at this, everybody. We have a rematch from the Middle Eastern Cup, another fantasy football tournament series video of mine. It is between Turkey and Iran. Turkey were the victors the last time around. Iran has been participating in so many of these tournaments. Well, several of them at least. And I finally think they, they win something here. Iran will get revenge on Turkey with their star-studded defense. And I think they will edge this one out 1-0. So, Turkey finishes in second. And Iran win the West Asian Cup. Congratulations to Iran. So Iran first, Turkey second, Saudi Arabia third, Iraq fourth. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe. I'll see you hopefully later today, God willing. Until then, have a good one. Much love and peace.